Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have such a fun haul. I've been going to Home Goods, I've been going to Marshalls, I've went to Walmart, and I've been collecting a lot of fun hygiene products. All these bags you see behind me, they're all new hygiene products I picked up and there's a lot of cute things out now. There is a lot of things I don't pick up because they're pumpkin spice related and I don't want those scents in my collection. But these are all really, really fun stuff. Some of the products in here, I am making a spooky basket for one of my really, really good friends. It's gonna, it's not gonna be necessary spooky things. I'm just, anytime I pick up, anytime I'm in like home goods and I see something that reminds me of her, I just pick it up for her. So a couple of products in here are for her. I'll, I'll mention what are hers. And let me start with Walmart. This has most of the fun hygiene stuff. So I want to go in here first. I picked up is from Body Ecology. I did pick up their Cozy Fireside S'more. This is supposed to be a dupe for Bonfire Bash. I didn't try any of this in the store. I wanted to have a first impression on camera with you guys, so I don't know what it's, you know. All I've heard is that it's a dupe for Bonfire Bash. It says smoky marshmallow, sandalwood, and chocolate. This is what the packaging looks like. These are $3.98, I believe. So let me, okay, let me spray it first. Let me spray it first. Now, I've had issues with Bot Ecology before where it just smells like straight alcohol. And then I've had situations where I love the scent. So I hope, I don't know, I hope it's good. Oh, okay. It is very much Bonfire Bash. But maybe, I feel like Bonfire Bash is a little sweeter than this. It smells really good. It, it's smoky, it's sandalwood. It smells like a campfire for sure. I'm not necessarily picking up the marshmallow and the chocolate, but I am picking up a campfire like, it says cozy fireside s'more. Let's see what this smells like. Like even the bottles are like Bath and Body Works. I love it. Oh, okay, yeah, that smells really good. I haven't used Body Ecology lotion before, so I don't have much experience with it. Ooh, very smoky campfire. Okay, I like it. Is it a dupe? Not identical, but almost there. It's just, I would say Bonfire Bash is a little, like an ant, like a fine, fine, thin hair sweeter. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this. Do you think it's a good comparison or what do you guys think? I also picked up Sweet Apple Cider and I picked up the body wash for this one. This is fresh apples and mold spices. I'm assuming it's, you know, Bath and Body Works has a lot of apple scents out, so it's probably a dupe for one of them. I don't know which one, but the packaging is super cute. I do like apple scents, so I want to give this a try. Ooh, ooh, that is good. That is so good. So I was kind of worried about the spices, but it just smells like a fresh apple. I would compare it to uh, maybe, not champagne, apple, and honey. That's a little sweeter. This just smells like an authentic apple. Like, I'm not picking up anything else. Ooh, if you guys like apple scents, sweet apple cider. Again, let me know down below. If you're picking up a different scent than I am, I'm not picking up any of the spices. I'm just, it smells like straight apple to me. Mmm, okay. And I do like Body Ecology body washes. They actually sud really, really well. Ooh, that smells really good. I think I enjoy the apple one more than the Bonfire Bash. But this was new. The packaging absolutely sold me. It's from Bliss Cloud9 Body Lotion. It is weightless moisture with almond milk and vanilla scented. There was a couple scents, but the almond milk and vanilla caught my eye immediately. I don't know, I love the packaging of this, so I want to pick it up. I also like to, so I love all my like, you know, fragrance filled lotions, but I do sometimes like to pick up more simple stuff for my boyfriend and whenever my skin's being irritant, I don't want to always layer on so many fragrances. Sometimes I do like to have just like basic, even though this is almond milk and vanilla scented, I do like to have more natural products compared to these kind of products. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, that smells clean. That smells really, really clean. I'm not necessarily picking up 
the vanilla yet, but it'll probably, it might be different once I squirt it out, but it smells clean. I haven't tried out this formula, so I don't know what to tell you, but it looks, I like the packaging caught my eye. The packaging is simply beautiful. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know I picked this up. I also picked up the Cozy Fireside S'more Body Wash as well. So this is, it's two in one. It's a body wash and a bubble bath. I haven't tried it as a bubble bath. My therapist actually told, told me she wants me to take more bubble baths. Oh, this smells good in a bubble bath. So I might do that. I don't know. I'm torn apart about baths. Like I love the idea of baths. Like I want to sit in a tub. I want to relax, listen to an audio book and just like, I love the idea of it. But then I, it's not even the fact that I'm sitting in my bath water. It's the, I keep thinking about other people's feet in that bath and then them peeing in there and then just washing themselves in there and then I'm sitting on it and it's like no matter how much bleach and Clorox and scrubbing I use I can't get that thought out of my head so I feel like until I have my own home and I buy a brand new bathtub which I know no one has peed in or put their toes in and then my coochie is gonna sit on then I will feel safe but for now like I don't know I just can't do it and I want to love them so much I have a whole drawer of um, bath bombs because I just want to love baths but every time I sit in the tub I'm just thinking about whose toes were on here who peed on here and then I just immediately get out I can't do it and again it doesn't matter how much bleach and Clorox I throw in the bathtub that's just where my mind goes I don't know it's terrible I want to like baths and I will my therapist is pushing me to take them because she said it's good for my self-care and so I'll get to it it's just I have to get that thought on my head. Let me know if you guys feel that way or like, or how you guys feel about baths. I did pick up a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. I thought I, oh, I, I wanted the gel one, the water, whatever, it's fine. I haven't tried this one before. I have very dry, flaky skin like around here and around my nose. No matter what I do, I cannot get it moisturized. This one, it doesn't really work that well, but this works around, like this works well all over my face. For my dry patches, it doesn't work, but I still, I like it for the most part. It's not my favorite moisturizer, but I needed one, so I picked it up. A Suave Suave Cocoa Butter and Shea. I wasn't planning on picking this up, but it was on sale for a dollar, so a whole body wash for a dollar, yes. And they do sud so well, they clean really well. Oh, this smells delicious. Oh, hold up. This smells so good. Am I late? I know I'm late to this, but I can't wait to take a shower now. It says cocoa butter vanilla cream. Oh, that's why I was looking at it and it doesn't look sweet, but I kept smelling something sweet. This is sweet. It smells sweet. It's the vanilla cream. That smells delicious. Cocoa butter and shea. This smells delicious. Okay. This was new. This is a Jergens oil infused deep conditioning shea cocoa butter blend. I whoop butter blend i don't know if what it's supposed to smell like anything but let's see oh oh i didn't even know this has benefits to it so it says in four weeks it gives you more evenly blended tone smooths rough patches fades away dark marks and evens appearance of hyperpigmentation i didn't know that i just picked it up because i thought it was a lotion because see i didn't read the back up here it doesn't say anything like that but that's cool to know Okay, it just smells very mellow. There's no like scent that sticks out to me. Let's try this. Pick up some razors. This was a cool thing I saw. I haven't tried this before. Uh, this was new to me. It's Olika, I think. It's a ultra hydrating hand sanitizer. And it's a spray. Just, it looked cute. That's why I picked it up. I have tons. I'm sure we all have tons and tons of Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers. But this just looked cute, so I was so curious to try it. Bring it somewhere. How do I spray this? It is, it looks like this. I just thought it looked like a little chick. So I'm assuming. Okay, let me do my good hand. Oh, okay, so. Just a regular hand sanitizer. I don't know why I was expecting some magical thing to happen, but one more added to the list. They're hair related, so I'll go through these pretty quick. I've never tried any of these. I did get a 
Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Oil Mist from OGX for my hair. I have very, very thinning hair from a procedure I had over a decade ago. And I'm trying to bring it back. So good luck to me. So I bought this. If you guys have any recommendations, I thought about taking biotin tablets or gummies or whatever, but then it makes me nervous because I've basically lasered my whole body and I don't want to take biotin and have my whole body come back with coarse hair. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but that's what I'm nervous about. So I just try to stick with hair oils. I also, oh, did I just get two of these? I got another OGX coconut oil um, spray. And then this one had really good stars. It's African Pride Olive Miracle Olive and Tea Tree Growth Oil Treatment. I don't know, it had really good stars. I don't know, I was just looking for any kind of good oils to put in my hair. I know jojoba oil is really good for my hair. I thought one of those were jojoba oil, but it's fine. That's my Walmart haul. Let me go ahead and get into my TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whichever I pick up. So this is from Walmart. This is part of Remember I said I'm making care packages for friends. I got these nightly journals and I'm again getting into journaling and trying to find my calmness, my peace and my zen. And so I, I bought three of these. I put one in my nightstand and I got one for two of my friends. And so inside it just looks like this. And then every night if they feel like it, they can fill it out. It says today, one good thing that happened today, a bad thing that happened today, something I am thankful for, my thoughts, my dreams, and a to-do list for tomorrow. So I just thought this would be really cute. I really like the packaging of it. I thought it was beautiful. So I'm making two boxes. Each friend will get one of these. I'm excited to ship those out. Whatever this is. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, I remember this. It's a mug. There is more body care coming up, so just bear with me. Yes, I got this mug for myself. It says be giving and it's what are these? The peanut gallery. What are they called? This was $5.99 from Marshalls. I thought this was so cute. I needed a big mug. I love big mugs. And right now, a lot of stuff that's out right now is Halloween and skulls and witches. I'm not a big fan of that stuff. So I just got with a fall one because oh, I love, love, love big mugs. Ever since I was a child and I watched Friends and all their mugs were big at the Central Perk, I just love big mugs. Onyx Bathhouse Mermaid Off-Duty Foaming Body Scrub. This is with jojoba oil. Looks like this. It's coconut and lime. Yes, I didn't even know that. So yeah, it's closed so I cannot tell you what it smells like. Maybe during my empties or project use it up, I'll tell you what it smells like once I open it. But yeah, these are such good prices. What was it again? Marshalls for $5.99 for this entire tub and it's, it lasts a long time. I also got the foaming birthday one. I've been dying to try this one. This is birthday cake. I'm excited. It says it is vanilla and sugar and I hope it is gourmand and I hope it smells good. I haven't tried it yet. I didn't even check if it's open. Oh, okay, good. It's closed. Make sure when you are shopping at stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods that you, you know, people tend to dig into the products. So just make sure they're clean and new. I bought this set of Hocus Pocus glassware. What is it? Just cups for my friend. She's a huge Halloween Hocus Pocus person. So I got this for her. It was $14.99. I hope she likes it. She doesn't know I got this for her, but again, it's it's a it's a box. She doesn't know anything in it. Last bag. Oh, I still got, yes, I also got her a candle. I thought this was so cool. It is Morgan and Grace Aromatherapy. It's I Put a Spell on You, and it's clear quartz. And if I take this little thing off, you'll see the candle has quartz inside of it. I thought that was so cool. So I did get her this. It is caramelized cherry and spice. It smells really good. The crystals is what caught my eye, and so I picked this up for her. $12.99 by the way. This was really good. You guys, there has been instances when I come home and I'm pulling off the label and the original label is cheaper than the price that Marshalls and Home Goods has it for and that pisses me off. I come home and I'll be like, thieves. Like y'all really upmarking everything when the original price is right there. Two notepads, one says hello fall, one says just notes with a pumpkin on top and a pen. Oh, they both have pens. 
One of these is for my boyfriend's aunt. One of them is for a box I'm gonna make. I thought it was super cute. I don't know which one's gonna go to which yet, but they have a magnet on it so you can stick it on the fridge or wherever. <laughs> I got a Hocus Pocus mug. I believe this is Ray Dunn. Uh, for my friend who loves Hocus Pocus. It's a mug with a little lid on it. I thought that was so cute. I got is an evil eye. I'm, this is part of my culture and my friend really loves evil eyes. So I thought this would be nice for her to hang in her room or do with it as she wishes. That was my huge fun haul. This to me was really fun. I live down the street literally from a home goods um, and a Marshalls and I'm just, every day my boyfriend's like let's go let's go i'm like yes 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 like it's just i'm having so much fun doing all this shopping which is probably a bad thing but let me know if you guys enjoy this haul down below do you guys like the little mixture of a little bit of home with hygiene how are you guys feeling about that again i am a hygiene channel this is just stuff i want to show you guys because i am making packages for my friends thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye